Hey guys, Mimo64 here. So in this video, I'm just going to be showing you some behind the scenes stuff for RLCS, some funny stories, stuff I learned, what I thought about the event, and a bunch of pictures I took, some of which are showing right now. Enjoy the video. So the picture you just saw was a life-size Rocket League ball that they had on Showcase. It was plugged in, so it had actual lights on it, which is really awesome. This next picture you can see is they had these banners for every team. I really wish I could have brought one home, especially the NRG one. That's right. Everyone in here is excited, but it's all about this right here. You heard the desk mention it, making memories, creating history who is going to raise this trophy over their head but now it's time to bring out your teams competing here at the world championship stage and to bring them out who better you know them. you love them. stacks take it away so on day two i was with csk and we were waiting in line to get into the venue right to, so we could uh, do the meet and greet. I think that day it was uh, Floomp, Phantom, and I forget the teams. But we were waiting in line, right? And I hear this dude behind us. He goes, I wonder when Dignitas is going to play. And in my mind, I'm like, oh, no. And so I turn around and I'm like, hey, uh, sorry to break this to you, but Dignitas didn't make it this season. And then he was like, Oh man, I just wanted to see Turbo Pulsa. And that's like a double O no. So, and then I was like, again, super sorry that I'm the one who has to tell you this, but Turbo Pulsa was kicked from Dignitas like three days ago because they weren't getting the results they needed and they've been together for so long. And he was just like, oh, oh. And then I was like, Hey dude, you should subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's uh, McMo64, and I actually do videos about roster changes like that. So in the future, you'll know stuff like that. Not really. That would have been horrible. <laughs> and I felt so bad. Like I probably ruined his whole day too because he wanted to meet Dignitas and see them play. But this is how it goes sometimes. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Europe, the number four seed making their world's debut, Triple. This experience actually happened after day two. We had watched all the matches. We ate dinner. We had, oh, we got Mexican that night, and I had a great steak quesadilla. But uh, back to the story. When we were eating dinner, we had seen these, like, middle school girls. They're, okay, so the hotel we were in, they're, like, indoor balconies, and it looks out into, like, the huge lobby area, and we saw middle school girls on their balcony they were like screaming and making a lot of noise and we're like oh we hope we're not near them sure enough we go up to our room and we get in there and we hear a bunch of noise and we hear it through one of our walls and we're like wait i think they're above us so we went out onto the balcony and we looked and they happened to be right next to us so i'm going to play some audio that we heard them through the walls and it was actually pretty funny <laughs> the first 
first time ever, representing South America, the runner-up from the Grand Series, INTZ! So, CSK and I were in like the third or fourth row, right? And we were on the orange side, so we could basically see the computer screens of the pros. And that means you can also see what the players are doing. So during G2's matches, what CSK noticed is as soon as the matches get a little bit hairy and tense, Chicago and Rizzo take their shoes off. It's kind of funny, but I guess it makes sense because you want to play how you practice. I assume when you're practicing at home, you don't have your shoes on. So kudos to them. And the Grand Series champions, the best team from South America, Loki Esports. And from North America, the fourth seed, featuring season one world champion Kronomi, this is Pro. I had the great opportunity to do Floomp's toe reveal, so here it is. Your third place North American contender, don't take him to game five, it's G2! <laughs> At one point, I don't even remember which day, but uh, Garrett G sat in front of us a couple of rows up with his girlfriend, so that was pretty cool. And the seats we had were right next to where the pros and the casters would go up and down the stairs from like the caster box or like the backstage area where the pros go. So we got to see them walk by and get some people to sign stuff. Speaking of signing, I also got a bunch of pros and content creators to sign my uh, Luminescence jersey. And it's and it looks pretty awesome. So thank you all who signed. And presenting your North American On day two, Golden Boy had us do something unique and fresh, which brought a lot of attention to esports and Rocket League on the internet. He had us all turn our phones on and do the wave, which actually almost broke the world record for the longest wave, and we weren't even trying for it. So on day three, we decided that we would break the record, and here's us doing that. You're really hype. You know what else gets me hype? Golden Boy, and I think he's got a little something for you guys that he needs your help with. All right, everybody. So yesterday we did something so awesome. It caught the attention of everyone online. And then a certain community member of, uh, of ours, Johnny, who's over there. Johnny, w w wave your hand. There he is. He's over there, right in the section. He had pointed out that we were so close to breaking the world record for the longest wave in an arena. And I think today we can do it. What do you, what do you, what do you say? that now here's how it's gonna work all right everyone like we did yesterday take out your phones I'm gonna see this arena light up light it up and then we're gonna go for it and we're gonna go through the break but we're still gonna be doing the wave and everyone's gonna see each other on the screen right there and everyone at twitch you can find a way to do the wave on YouTube and wherever else you're watching you can find a way to do the wave as well in chat join us but I think, uh, I think it's also apropos for our friend Johnny all the way at the top over there to start the wave because he's the one who came up with this world record. So, this is for history, folks. Are you ready to make some history? 
That's right, because not only do we have the grand final, G2 versus Renault Vitality, it is now time to start to wet the wave in. Three, two, one, go! The USA chance as well. We talked about the G2 Army earlier. They're here again. Let's head on down to Golden Boy as we approach the final seconds. So the wave actually ended somewhere in 27 minutes, which is awesome. Just the feeling of making history. I love that esports is growing at such a fast rate, and I hope that Rocket League will ride that wave all the way to the top. Going to this event was just an overall great experience, and I hope to go again in the future. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and comment down below what part of RLCS was your favorite, and I will see you guys next time. We'll be